Wherever the jagged mountains rear their heads skywards, the winter sport season is swinging along to its gayest tune. And in the Italian Dolomites, lucky thousands are basking in winter's joy. The University of Rome have sent along an ice hockey team to play the local lads. And the local lads are out to make good. As the lights come up on the mountains, the score is to all. The local lads are making their final bid to get ahead, but they don't quite make good enough, and the match ends to all. Shut down plans, 100,000 out of work. That's what labor dissension has done to the auto industry. Just a few weeks ago, all was activity in General Motors' plants. The wheels of industry hummed a new song of prosperity. Now all is at a standstill, and idle machinery means idle men, many of whom want to continue working. Federal conciliator Dewey left and Governor Murphy of Michigan right are shown with labor leader Homer Martin. His refusal to call out sit-down strikers blocked negotiations. Meanwhile, waiting the next move, sit-down strikers indulged in setting up exercises. At this Chevrolet plant alone, the shutdown poured out 14,500 more workers, whom the union sought to enlist on its side. On the other hand, through the Flint Alliance, many citizens and workers who want to get back on the job have registered their protest against the strike. The organization has received thousands of pledges in its campaign to secure a peaceful and speedy settlement of the industrial crisis. Those who feel the shutdown is injuring not only capital but labor have taken this means of uniting the opposition to the strike. What do the workers who are the most affected think of it all? <laughs> 